Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about the fourth kingdom that called Kingdom Plante. There is two learning outcomes for this topic. First is, describe the alternation of generation as the unique characteristic of Plante. Second, state the classification of Plante into four groups, which is Bryophytes, Pteridophytes, Gymnosperms, and Angiosperms. So, let's get started. Before we go deeper on this topic, let's first recap the Whittaker classification of living organisms. Whittaker classified plants in Kingdom Plantae because their mode of nutrition is by autotroph. This means that the plants are able to make their own food by themselves. In this slide, we are learning the unique characteristic of Kingdom Plantae. Kingdom Plantae include all plants which are multicellular autotrophic eukaryotes. Okay. Eukaryotes means that the plant cells have true nucleus, okay, the nucleus that enclosed by membrane, and there is many membrane-bounded organelles. Most of the plant cells contain a green-colored pigment called chlorophyll that present in chloroplasts which is why there are photosynthetic autotroph organisms. Plant cells also have a cell wall which is made up by carbohydrate cellulose and stores food in the form of starch. The cell wall gives framework and mechanical strength to the plant cell. Plant life cycle shows alternation of generations. <clears throat> alternation of generation means a life cycle in plant involves the alternation between two generations of distinct multicellular stage that consists of diploid stage and haploid stage. The diploid stage is called sporophyte generation while the haploid stage is called gametophyte generation. Now look at to the diagram shown. Okay, the life cycle of the Kingdom Plantae can be divided into two parts. First is haploid generation that known as gametophyte generation while second is diploid generation that also known as sporophyte generation. The sporophyte which is diploid here produce haploid spores by meiosis process. So, these uh, spores represent the first stage in the gametophyte generation. Then, the haploid spores will germinate and become multicellular gametophyte. And then, this gametophyte will give rise to become haploid gamete by mitosis process. And then these two haploid gametes that call sperm and egg will uh, form a diploid zygote. Okay, diploid. And then this zygote represent the 
uh, first stage in the sporophyte generation. And then the zygote will divide by mitosis. And develop to become the multicellular sporophyte. Kingdom plantae is mainly divided into four groups. First is bryophyte, second is pteridophyte, third is gymnosperms, and last is angiosperms. Bryophyte is the primitive plant or lowest plant compared to the other three groups. While the angiosperms is, high, is the highest plant or advanced plant. First, we go to the most primitive terrestrial plant groups called bryophytes. These bryophytes can be divided into three phyla. First is phylum hepatophyta for liverwort groups. Example is Marcantia species. Second is phylum bryophyta for mosses groups. Example is polytrichum species. And third Phylum Anthocerophyta for hornwort groups. Example is Anthocero species. Bryophytes are small and seedless plants with no vascular tissue. Means that the bryophytes do not have xylem and phloem for transportation of water and mineral and other essential mineral okay so the bryophytes transport water via diffusion process from cell to cell and the absorption of water and mineral is via rhizotes rhizotes is the root-like structure that attach to the soil. Okay. Then, it also do not have through stems, leaves and roots. Okay. Example for liver words. Okay. Let me draw liver words or Marcantia species. Okay, Marcantia species has flattened body called talus and this talus cannot be differentiated into true stem, leaves and roots. Okay, and the below of this talus, there is presence of root-like structure called rhizoid. Bryophytes depends on water to live. They only live at moist place because their sperm uh, require water to reach an egg for fertilization. That's why they live in them and shady places. And lastly, in this group, the gametophyte generation is dominant over sporophyte generation. Why gametophyte generation is dominant? Okay, let me draw this polytrichum species. Okay.
Okay, for polytrichum species, the upper part is called sporophyte generation, which is diploid. And the below part is called gametophyte generation, which is haploid. According to my drawing here, you can see that the sporophyte structure at the upper part is depends on the gametophyte structure. Okay, that's why gametophyte generation is dominant over sporophyte generation. And um, the diploid sporophyte structure here is smaller in size and short-lived compared to gametophyte generation. Second groups for kingdom plantae is called pteridophytes. Pteridophytes is for fern groups. Okay, these groups is more advanced compared to bryophytes. Like bryophytes, pteridophytes is uh, also seedless plants but more advanced than bryophytes because they have vascular tissue okay uh, with the xylem that consists only tracheid for transportation of water and second it has phloem that consists of sieve tube only for transportation of sugar in this pteridophyte uh, sporophyte generation is dominant compared to the gametophyte okay the sporophyte generation for this group is differentiate into true roots, true stem and true leaves. But reproduction system is require water for fertilization. That's why the habitat for this group is in place of low light intensity. Pteridophytes can be divided into two phyla. First is phylum Lycophyta and second is phylum Pterophyta. Example for phylum Lycophyta is Lycopod Lycopodium species and second is Selaginella species. While for the phylum Pterophyta, Example is Dryopteris species. Okay. Third groups of kingdom plantae is called gymnosperms. Gymnosperms are more advanced compared to pteridophytes and bryophytes because they have seed. But the seed is not enclosed within ovary or not enclosed within fruit. The reproductive organ for this group is cone that consists of the sporophyll that are spirally arranged. The cones often on the same plants. Uh, this group also uh, have leaves that usually waxy and needle shape to conserve water. Next, it also do not require water for fertilization. Next, it has vascular tissue. But similar with the pteridophytes, 
the xylem consists only tracheid, while phloem consists only sieve tube. And then the dominant generation is sporophyte generation. Means that gametophyte generation for this group is depend on sporophyte generation for nutrient. Gymnosperms can be divided into four phyla. First is phylum coniferophyta or phylum pinophyta. Example is pinus species. Second is phylum cycadophyta. Example cycle species. Third is phylum ginkgo phyta, example ginkgo biloba. And last, phylum nito phyta, example is nitum species. The last group of kingdom plantae is angiosperms which is a dominant group of land plants. There are seed-bearing plants because they have seed that enclose within fruit from ovary. It also has flowers as reproductive organ. This is unique characteristic of the angiosperms. They also have complex vascular tissue which is the xylem consists of vessel and tracheid while the phloem consists of both companion cells and sieve tube. The dominant generation for these groups are sporophyte generation. Means that the gametophyte depends on sporophyte for nutrition. It also under double fertilization okay, that produce the nutritive triploid endosperms and the fruits that forms as protection and for dispersal of the seed. All angiosperms are placed in a single phylum called phylum entophyta. And this phylum entophyta can be divided into two classes. First is class Dicotyledonae. Example is Magnifera, Mangifera indica. And second class is Monocotyledonae. Example is Sea maize. 